What is going on guys? Uh, for those of you who are watching who have no idea who I am, uh, my name is Mitchell. I just wanted to give you a warm welcome to my YouTube page. It's 2017 and I'm trying to be a little more serious about this. So uh, from now on, I'm going to be doing a vlog every Saturday. A little bit about me. I'm a singer songwriter. I just graduated college and moved from Massachusetts to Philadelphia. Um, I wanted to do a video, kind of like a little story time, basically telling you about what my moving experience was like being in a new city and some of the crazy stuff that's happened uh, while I've been down here. So here we go. about when I made a move down to Philadelphia. So this all happened after my girlfriend and I at the time got engaged. Next time you see me, I might be an engaged man. I'm still single. <laughs> still single. <laughs> but are you? Single. It's a bummer. Why? <laughs> That's what I haven't wanted to know. So basically I just said, hey, let's spend the rest of our lives together after I moved to the Mid-Atlantic real quick. And she was cool with it. And the reason for this move was to go to pursue music. So she had a year left to finish up school and I had kind of like a free year to try to figure out how to make this work. So I packed my bags, left Massachusetts and headed straight down 95 South to Philadelphia. I had absolutely no idea what I was doing other than my producer. I, I knew nobody down here and I had no money. I had to, that week I was scraping up literally whatever money I could to try to pay for that first month's rent. I had never seen the place before. I had no idea who I was gonna be living with. I was just going in completely blind. And I didn't even have a job set up yet. So this was kind of like just destined to fail. So I'm on the streets trying to find where my house is. I have no idea what it looks like. I just have the address. And then I pull up to this really shady looking house and uh, and that's it. My landlord shoots me a text and says, hey, your key's in the mailbox, just let yourself in. So I did, but the key's not working, so I'm ringing the bell and no one's answering. <laughs> so <laughs> eventually I'm, a I'm able to get in the house. I don't really remember how. I have no idea what's going on. I have no concept of the layout of this house. I'm trying not to wake up my potential roommates because it's late but I have no idea where my room is. Uh, so I'm just walking throughout the house. Long story short, I end up finding my room. About a week goes by and I start getting really itchy. I, I just think it's mosquitoes because we're kind of still in the summer. It's late August, so that's still, it's still a real possibility. And then I'm just getting itchier and itchier. And I look and I'm having all these like bug bites on me and I'm, I, I don't know what's going on. But one night I, I just randomly woke up and felt this thing crawling on me and I looked down and it was a bed bug. And I had no idea what bed bugs looked like at this time. It just looked like a bug I had never seen. And I was like, oh, that's disgusting, Ugh. <laughs> Lo and behold, we had bed bugs. This is the blood that comes out when you kill them. Yep. That's your blood. <laughs> so that was like the first real like experience I had in Philly and it was horrible. It was horrible. We we had to throw out mattresses and sheets and everything. This house has lost three <laughs> three mattresses today. <laughs> three brave mattresses. They just don't give up. Like we had a pest control guy come, I think like four or five times, and it did nothing. Like absolutely nothing. We, we, they just hide and then they come out after. <laughs> we'll tag team. We'll tag team them. Right. <laughs> oh whoa whoa whoa. Oh, Look at that that's one. one. That's a big one. No, that's not a big one. That's it. Look at that. It was really bad. No? Dude, kill it. Dude. No, kill it, kill it, kill it. Dude. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Oh, you want to see it die? Yeah. Yeah, make, make sure it suffers. Is it already yeah. dead? Oh, it's moving. That's blood for like. Ugh, that will last them like. Look at that thing. Year. That's the mom right there. That's the mom. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a bed bug. <laughs> That is not a very nice housewarming gift. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> I don't want it to fly. They don't fly, right? No, they, okay. they don't fly or jump. They just crawl. Where'd the other five or six go? Oh, I don't oh, even you know. You already killed them. Like, 
there was blood. And at this time, I was, I was like, I need to get out of this place. This is so bad. But my landlord, him and I had developed somewhat of a friendship and he had been really good to me at that time and helping me out with rent and everything. And I felt really guilty about that, but I was like, I need to get out of here. And at the time he wanted me to show the house to potential tenants. That's so nasty, you're just like itchy right now, right? <laughs> this is one of the grossest feelings in the world. But he started to ask me to be kind of dishonest with, uh, with them and lying about the bed bug saying there was like, it was completely fine, it was good. In the meantime, we were infested. And I just, I couldn't do that. Understandably, every tenant I would show the house to would be like, no thanks. And I wish that he had been straight up with me because he probably knew there were bed bugs, but didn't tell me. Um, whatever. He was also low key racist and thought black people were horrible tenants. To which I replied, I'm half black and you think I'm your best tenant, so. Inconsistency. At this point, work is still not really a thing and I'm st I have to pay bills, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. And I walk out my front door and I see this pizza place. And, oh man, I walked in, applied, got the job, and it was just the crappiest job <laughs> ever. I just sat in a basement all day folding boxes, swatting flies. I've always wanted to be a ninja, but you know what they say. Gotta catch the fly first. There was nothing to do, but that was how I spent my days because that was the only thing I could do to make money at the time. Well, probably not the only thing, but only thing I was willing to do. I'm not gonna lie, there was a point where I really feel like I hit rock bottom. I didn't have any money and, you know, there, I did things that I'm not proud of to cope with all that. This guy told me to meet him in his car. We're gonna see what he's got. You the guy with the stuff? Let's see it. Oh, that's nice. If I could go back and, and redo it, I, I definitely would. Hey, let me get a couple bites of that. Yeah, just take a couple bites. You know, man, this is good stuff. I went, I went to Dunkin' Donuts. Man, I need another bite of that. <laughs> no. Yeah, you're taking too. But, you know, we make mistakes. During this time, this was the first time I've ever had to go grocery shopping by myself, and I had no idea what I was doing with that either. Fuji apples, red delicious apples. <laughs> so now that you heard me talk about how bad the old place was, I figured I should give you a tour of the upgrade. So this is my new place.